Mania, and he has a .4 ERA with five shutouts through his first eight starts, and he is still the only pitcher to have a Rookie of the Year award and a Cy Young award. So, yeah, I look at the peak and what he achieved in such a small amount of time, and the fact that when you're talking about someone that had 107, 107 complete games. I mean, how insane is that when you look at modern day baseball? A hundred ridiculous. It's crazy. I mean, it's so crazy. I mean, there's a reason. There's a reason. You know, he kind of fell apart by. Yeah, you know, it is a reason why. But honestly, age like. And I was thinking about 30. that. It was almost like got a Tommy. part. It, it was kind of the gift and the curse, right? Because look, I mean, you're not. If, look, let's be honest. If you have Fernando Valenzuela as talented as he was, of course, he threw that screwball, which takes a lot of wear and tear. The it takes his toll on your arm. It's a reverse curveball, right? And look, he threw two different screwballs, right? And different velocities, different speeds. So, yeah, it did take its toll on him. But I will say this. If you had him in this day and age going six or seven innings, you wouldn't have Fernando Valenzuela mania.